Hi everyone, this is Margaret Hershey at Home with Hershey's. And today, thank you for joining us for our Tech Talk Tuesday. And it is just amazing. We've got Nico from uh, Hershey's with us. He's in charge of all our IT and all our beautiful new Howie, Apple, and Samsung cell phones and all the lovely stuff we're selling. So Nico, tell us, we're talking today about gaming and tell me how did gaming start? Hi everyone. Thank you for having me on Tech Talk Tuesday. Um, gaming started back in the 1970s and um, it very quickly became a very competitive online platform for fast paced and strategic games. And, you know, one of the games that I grew up with uh, is um, called Counter Strike, which is an extremely fast paced and strategic first person shooter. Um, you know, we used to run these games back in the 1990s. Uh, on computers and since then games have advanced so much in graphics and detail you know it's it's really advanced um, and the gaming computers are quite heavy and expensive to be able to handle the games of today okay now tell us about the consoles and so i know there's playstation 4 and 5 there's xbox what are the other things and how do they how does modern gaming compare to, the, to computers of today is it better to get the machine or to just do it on your computer so they, they did a side-by-side -side comparison uh, recently in one of the studies, and it was actually determined that to get the equivalent performance out of a computer, uh, you know, similar to the Xbox or the PlayStation 5, you would actually be paying double um, for a computer than what the Xbox is actually valued at or is, is currently retailing at on pre-order status. But specifically, the, the new consoles, the next generation consoles, offer 8K gaming, it offers ray tracing, it offers 120 frames per second, never seen before on any console. And to get that likewise performance on a computer, you would be spending an arm and a leg to try and match it. Okay, now, but you've got a console, but you've got to have a TV. What kind of TV do you have to be able to do to, to give it to you? Because I know there's things like drag and all that type of thing. So what TV should one get if, they've got, if you buy your, your grandson a console for Christmas? Does that, do they have to get a new TV as well? <laughs> um, you don't necessarily need to get a new TV, but it's always recommended. And as I mentioned, both consoles offer 8K resolution which is not the mainstream consumer offering today in terms of TVs. The mainstream still pushes premium 4K panels, but it's, it's not that 8K is not available. I mean, at, at Hersh's, we sell premium 8K TVs uh, in both Samsung and LG, and they're absolutely fantastic, but it's a premium world of its own. The content available to really enjoy 8K TVs is extremely limited today. So uh, today, even 4K is quite limited. Um, and the majority of the available content is still full HD to 4K. So the, 8, the 8K panels can uh, upscale everything from 1080p, 4K to 8K. But, um, you know, this goes hand in hand with 8K gaming. Uh, it also upscales all the the older games to 8K, and the gaming developers are promising true 8K gaming very soon. But I don't think one should rush to buy the console just purely because of the 8K factor. What is a factor, however, is the physical hardware inside it. And as I mentioned earlier, it is extremely powerful and will load games extremely fast, approximately 100 times faster. Now, I'm, the only game that I know of is Fortnite. Could you talk about some of the most popular games that are out there at the moment? Fortnite, yes. A uh, very popular game. Um, I think, you know, it, it really depends what, um, what platform or channel you'd, you'd want to delve into. You know, there's the online gaming community where you get a game where thousands of people connect to the same game, or you get your single player games. Um, and on the PS4 and the Xbox, one of the very pop or most popular games in the world is actually called uh, Call of Duty. And, um, you know, what made the initial release of Call of Duty so popular was the realism, the 
the real experience of war to be to feel you know what is it like to be on the battlefield with all your colleagues you know everyone's trying to back each other up it's a very strategic game um and there's also a story mode for the gamers um you know so which pulled you even deeper into the real experience of what is it like to be in the battlefield you know during war times yeah. um and you know i'm i'm sure it's it's um it's still a very popular game you know they they've released so many different versions of the game you know but <laughs> back in the middle east to back in russia the cold war uh all these different varieties um and yeah it's um the 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 console performance and the computer performance of today makes it such a surreal experience Wow. So professional gamers become a sport that many just wanted to join. From your experience in joining your professional gaming round, what was it like and what can you recommend to those who want to try? Where do you start? So practice makes perfect. Um, you know, there were days that I was forced to play up to about five hours uh, with my team every single day, constantly wow. training and running different scenarios, perfecting mouse movements every millisecond counts. You know, your eyes have to become focused on every pixel you see on your screen and your hands have to become your eyes and the smallest movements you can see or that you can hear have to be assessed and acted upon instantly. It was a lot of fun and I made great fr uh, friends back then. Wow. Well, last week we spoke about TV. So what TV would you recommend for those wanting a premium device to play on their consoles? Because what's important and um, when you're looking for a television and when you want to game, you know, you want to get one of those next generation consoles, what do you look for? I think latency would be the top priority. You know, resolution goes hand in hand, but 8K is not as important as today's available content takes second place. The brightness and the black levels to get true gaming experience and the real life colors, um, you know, in, in South Africa, you know, the available 4K and 8K TVs today both offer on par performance. The second recommendation um, would be a LG TV, um, the OLEDs specifically. The OLEDs provide a great latency, well, very minimum latency, which is very important, as I mentioned. And the Q900, which is one of the premium 8K panels from Samsung, it's an amazing refresh rate, 8K content and true colors. Both the LG and the Samsung, both amazing panels, highly recommended for any gaming enthusiast. Wow. Well, thank you so much for all that information today on gaming. And gaming, by the way, is one of the fastest growing sports in the world, especially with COVID, where people have to stay inside and look at Europe going into lockdown again and going into winter. I mean, it's just they, they really are going to be inside a lot. So that's what people are doing. They're gaming now. They're playing those games online. And what better place to, to come and have a look at all these new 4K and 8K TVs and at Hershey's. So for those of you who are wondering what to buy your significant other for Christmas this year, a fabulous new TV. We have got some amazing, amazing new, some as thin as wallpaper that are in our stores now. So come in and see us today. Come in and chat about gaming and come in and have a look at our beautiful TVs. Thank you, Nico, for being on the show today. I appreciate all your gaming knowledge and all your, um, I know that you were gaming from a teenager. So well done for that. And we'll see you all again next Tuesday for our Tech Tuesday. Thank you. Thank you for having me.